here at Ernie Dental, we actually use a uh, technique called tip edge. It allows teeth to move during orthodontics freely in three dimensions. Why is that important? When you think of the history of orthodontics, in the early 1900s, um, the first tooth movements were free tipping motions. What was shown in the early phases of orthodontics, the orthopedics could be corrected really easily if we allowed teeth to tip and rotate freely. Uh, the downside of allowing teeth to tip and rotate was at the end, the finishing of uprighting the roots, getting teeth to accept forces vertically was very difficult. Dr. Begg came along and he said, um, he created a technique called straight wire that actually allows for the straightening of the teeth in the first phase, but then they used headgear, um, different, different internal appliances to advance the mandible or change things orthopedically, very uh, hard to do. Dr. Kessling in the late 70s and early uh, 80s was a mechanical engineer that was an orthodontist and he took the best of both of those techniques and he actually patented a bracket that actually allowed teeth to tip freely to correct the orthopedic problem at the beginning and then he had a straight wire component in the finishing phase that actually allowed the roots tips and the, the teeth to straighten uh, very efficiently so the tip edge technique there's a couple benefits one is is the cost is less because the patients are coming in less frequently. Also, the, f the number of appointments are less than with traditional braces. Again, this is proven in research. Um, I would, if you had any questions about this, you have a child that's suffering where they're talking about possible surgery as a, as a component in their treatment plan, I would like to show you some of the complicated cases that were treated non-surgically and um, it gives you another second opinion or a third opinion about how things can be um, uh, done in a more conservative and cost-effective way.